Hi everybody, welcome to day 21 of ARD Countdown series for NABAR Grade 2025 and let's just discuss yesterday's question before looking at today's questions. Yesterday question number 1 was in India's seed certification system which of the following correctly matches the seed class with its tag color. So see the correct answer is option number E breeder seed is of golden yellow color. So there are different uh, tag colors that are given uh, to the seeds. The name is based on the purity level or the genetic purity level of the seed. Okay? So for breeder seed it is golden yellowish color for foundation seed it is white color and for certified seeds they are uh, bluish and blue in color azhar blue to be exact right but that is the case and truthfully label seed they don't specifically have uh, color system however in certain cases like purple and other shades have been uh, seen Coming to second question, what is the genetic purity percentage of foundation seeds? Okay, so first we have breeder seed. Uh, breeder seeds are developed by breeders, so they are very in small quantity that are made, right? So then what happens then? Because then it has to be multiplied so that farmers can have the enough good enough quantity, right? So from breeder seed under very uh, super uh, you can say under good supervision or high supervision uh, foundation seeds are made they have 99.5 percent of purity and from the foundation seed certified seeds are developed so that it can be given to the farmers what is the primary function of state seed certification agency so again that is what that is to ensure the genetic purity and quality standards of certified seed classes so they develop certified seeds and they also have to ensure that it is genetically pure means what the farmer has envisioned or um, sorry what the breeder has envisioned into the seed those genes uh, those genes should be there and quality should be maintained because then only if the seeds are of good quality good produce can be developed in the field coming to today's question uh, first is which of the following best describes a paid on what is a paid on second is what percentage of soil volume is typically composed of mineral matter and finally permanent wilting point occurs when so these are the options comment on the right answers and we will discuss in the next class thank you